During the World War II, German armor production never fixed the knee of its phone line, so that widely the use of captured armor vehicles are very common. Combining French Ochkis H39 chassis and Park 3A anti-tank cannon, it creates the Mardin 1 Jäger Panzer. 24 of the type were produced and mainly active in the West Line. To be honest, it's one of the most horrible box painting I have ever seen. The kit is quite Asian and it contains few parts, but most of the pieces are obviously sick and overscaled. I hardly enjoy the assembling process. And the kit includes two numbered graph figures. They will not be in the final result. In this case, I'm going to paint the German yellow base color first, then airbrush the German green and brown without cover. It's my first time to try this technique. The process is not very handy. I'm not a fan of rubber checks because it was so fragile after painting. The paint could be easily removed by tiny scratches. In the project, I was not able to find any replacement. As you can see, I found the whole model is too dull, so I made some spare tracks, wheels, and jerry can with the extra pieces in box. The container of each part is made by extra PE parts from the other boxes. I use the Tamiya thinner to remove the pigment and enamel paints on the edge of tracks to explore the polished metal. Then I found the tone on the tracks are too unified. 
I just randomly duck on certain area of the tracks and running gears. Voila, that's it. I always have the idea that the French World War II chassis are always not threatening enough. They look always adorable, gentle, cute, even the heavy shark B1. Hey modelers, let's keep collecting, finding excuses not to build them, challenging your career rather than your hobby, enjoying the company of your girlfriend rather than the plastic kit. But graduate very soon from the model academy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.